Back now to our top story, O.J. Simpson, the phone call. He called in during a live discussion on Fox News Channel this afternoon. We were talking about lie detector tests and whether Simpson himself once took a partial test and was failing. With us, his late wife's sister, Denise Brown, and the polygrapher, whom attorneys in Simpson's trial alleged administered that test. I'm only calling for one reason, because you are a liar. Mr. Gibb will tell you, I've never met this man. If I met him, he's in a social environment, and you're telling America oh, no, no. I think that he did some tests for me? No, I think, you, let's settle it real easily, O.J. I just, I just heard you a second no, ago. No, wait, wait now. Say Mr. What Gibb met, met him, he said he never took a test. Mr. Simpson? And plus, Mr. Gibb will tell you, there is no way on earth that a person in the middle of a lie detector test, that somebody can tell if they're filling it or not filling a lie detector test. Mr. Simpson, test. what... If he's hooked up, it's impossible to do that. Mr. Ask Simpson? Ask Mr. Gelb the pertinent question. I... Stop giving bogus information. Mr. Gelb, ask him, has he ever met me? Mr. Simpson, here's the problem. Mr. Gelb says he has an attorney-client privilege relationship with you. Ask Mr. Gelb, I'm saying this. And as Mr. Gelb, have we ever met... That's... He's... He says that he can't answer that question because Why? he has an attorney-client privilege relationship with you. Would you release okay, him from that attorney-client privilege? Okay, but I'm just saying that you guys talking about Mr. Gelb was in some room with me and said that he can't answer it. To my knowledge, well, you that's know, shocking. Mr. He Gelb wasn't. may have been in a social environment. Let's I don't recall you. ever meeting him outside of a social environment. So, so to what my you're knowledge, saying? he was in Europe. Mr. Uh, Mr. At the Simpson, time, the week of uh, Nicole's death. So I don't know what you, you're giving. Well, I appreciate you calling him. Okay. I've heard you twice, sir. Say to your audience that OJ testified that he was with Mr. Gelb somewhere. To my knowledge, I've never met Mr. Gelb, and I know I've never said I was with the Mr. Gelb anyway. My Plus, Mr. Gelb will confirm to you that it's impossible for somebody observing a lie detector test to be able to tell if a guy is lying in the middle of a lie detector test. Mr. Gelb, that's he simple. Mr. Gelb, uh, he says OJ is correct in regards to that. In other words, if there was somebody who was not the examiner or the person being examined, there would be no way they could determine until the end of the examination right. whether the person was truthful or deceptive. Mr. Simpson, it, it's, you know, if you didn't, if you were never hooked up and asked questions on a lie detector test, now's the time to get it straight. Were you well, ever hooked up or not? When, when, on, you know, some people are doing charity. Denise made her statement. Denise's parents have spent many times at charitable events that I've created for kids with cancer, Camp Good Times. I spent my life doing work for Boys Club of America. Before this happened, I think I was one of the most giving guys in America. For, so, so, so for Denise to say, I'm a conniving person because I gave her sister a surprise party. Denise is the only liar here. It's coming out that the money that they get, none of it goes to charity. Denise was on welfare. She had no Mr. job. Mr. Simpson, let me ask you one quick question. About being, Ms. working for, OJ. Uh, look at her, look at, tell her, I'll put up all of my IRS statements. Let's see what kind of job she had Mr. Simpson, before this happened. She, you, just, just for a second, OJ, just one quick question, if you don't enemy. mind, OJ. I was, I'll Ms., talk Ms., about this. Ms., 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 Mr. Simpson, Ms. Cox was on the line with us just a, Ms., Ms. Cox was on the line with us just a moment ago and said that, in fact, you were going to have this pay-per-view event. Tell me about it that. It ain't a pay-per-view. It's American. Some people came to me. They asked me, would I be willing to come on to uh, speak to the public? Well, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to speak to the public because of people like you who give bogus information all the time to the public about things I reputedly have stated or said. Nobody could ever tell you I've ever mentioned, mentioned Mr. Gelb's name anywhere, let alone in a court of law. You've told your audience twice this, and you tried to make some comparison between, well, he said he wasn't hooked up, Mr. Gelb can't do this. And I mean, I don't know why you guys do this. Well, if you want to talk to me directly well, here we on go. publiccrossing.com, they came to me. Actually, a lady came to me whose son was a, who was paralyzed, who uh, was uh, uh, well, let's uh, get, is now paralyzed. OJ, let's get it all straight right he here. He asked me. Uh, I, you know, here's the discrepancy. To OJ, some OJ. Of her if they can have money go OJ. to their charity. He, here's and I what, say, yes, I also would like to send some money to the Innocence Project. Okay, because OJ. Because they're constantly getting people out of jail who we now know is innocent. People who are on death row that that were convicted of crimes, right. not like me who weren't convicted of anything, that were convicted of crimes because, because the police did whatever they did to convince them, to convict them rather. Now we know they're innocent. OJ, well, what? I like to see people like that get a second chance. The person who's made the most money, the most money, and they have improved their lifestyle the most out of Nicole's death is Denise Brown. She ain't on welfare Excuse anymore. Me. She's got a job me. now. That's I have all I got always to had say. a job. Good night. Tune in. Hey, 
Denise, I'll put up all of my credit cards. I'll put up all of my charitable work. I'll show them all my IRS statements before Nicole's murder. You do the same. I challenge you to do the same. I let's get, see who's benefited. I want to get one thing straight before you hang up the phone, though, because this thing with F. Lee Bailey is really confusing to me, O.J. He says that you took a polygraph test and you weren't passing it and that Robert Shapiro threw the results away. What really happened? Well, that's not true, and I don't think Lee said that. Why don't you guys? Here's what I don't get. Why don't you guys ever... Put up Lee's statement. Put it up in writing. Anytime you think something works against me, you put it up in writing. Now, if you look at what Lee said, he didn't say that. He told them, uh, I was at a place, I was deciding if I was going to do a lie detector test or not. When it was over, that same day, we wrote a letter to the DA and Marshall Clark in writing. I will do a lie detector test for the police. I don't care if they did it or who did it. Okay, you're saying you'll do a lie detector test? I would do one for them OJ? only if the results would be submitted in any future litigation. The police said no. Marsha Clark said no. So what, what to me, about that now, says OJ? more about it than anybody. Would you take a lie detector not test not now? Not for you, I won't. Well, how about for Mr. Gelb? How about for the FBI? Hey, if you... I can benefit for it, I will. If I can benefit, if Denise and uh, Goldman and all those guys think I'm guilty, hey, sign off. Just say whatever money's made, OJ can keep to raise his kids. Hey, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to be, you know that nanny? You know the nanny passed three lie detector tests. You know what? They still prosecuted her. You know, the, the Ramseys went on. They passed a lie detector test. You know what happened? <coughs> Nobody believes it. Mr. Bailey. <laughs> you know, so if I'm not going to benefit, I'm not going to be some dancing monkey for you guys. O.J., Mr. Bailey says... You couldn't says pass it to begin with. What makes well, you think you could pass it sign now? Off. Simple. Sign off. Tell me I can what keep makes the money you think I make you could pass it now? You murdered Nicole, and you know you did it. And you know, I mean, you're just amazing. And no, me, you what you have you, what have you ever same. given me, so OJ? Guilty. You've Everybody never given me a damn penny, you not one you thing. All her friends, you know it, and I know it. You know that's what? You are a pig. You are a low life, life, no good, Why? son of a gun. That's Nicole's best friend. You know what? All these people, even Faye Rusnick. Why Nicole kept all of her friends away from Denise? OJ, how can you put her oh, through please, this? Oh, please, what are you doing? Her. Don't ask me. Go to Faye Rusnick. Go to... Uh, oh, and a she's, a, she's a real ask close them friend, why isn't she? Nicole kept all of her new friends away from Denise. Ask them. OJ, you know, you, you're it. pathetic. You guys that No, you're you pathetic. You are pathetic. No, you and Fred okay, Goldman, I, 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 I never I, go on TV. Uh, I avoid the media as much as I can. They chase me. You guys, if it's a door opening, you guys are showing up. OJ, to put your uh, faces OJ, on excuse TV me, OJ, so you but, can make money. But Lee you're Bailey, the only person that's benefited from this, Denise. You and Fred Goldman. What have OJ, I done, excuse OJ? me, just for a second. You made money. You're not on welfare Where? anymore. OJ, I, I want to get to the bottom. You don't live at home with your... You were living at home with your family, a burden on your mother and father. O.J., wait now. This, this is making me money. uncomfortable, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mr. raise you and your son. Mr. Simpson. And since Nicole's Mr. Death, Simpson. you're on your own. You never Mr. gave me a penny, O.J. No, your family got money from me. You never gave me your a penny. Your family got you money You are the you. only one. You're, you and I, we didn't get along. We didn't get along because you couldn't control me. That's oh, why that, we don't get along. I didn't get along because Nicole was afraid you were going to have sex with me. Oh, That's why please. we didn't get along. It was Nicole that told oh, me to Oh, please, your ego you. is just really riding a little bit too high, Simpson. Mr. Oh, Simpson, your ego I'm is just a little bit too big. Why don't I ask all of my big. friends about what I just said? Just a <laughs> little bit too big. Why don't I go from Bobby Stanley, who is there now, to Ahmad, to AC, to Marcus? Why don't I go to Ed, Ed McKay? Why? why don't I go to all of my friends, Denise? Mr. Simpson. And ask them, is it true Simpson, or not? Simpson, you are Oh, you didn't have a relationship with every one of them. Mr. Simpson, just a moment. Okay, Mr. I'm sorry, but you guys get on TV. Mr. Simpson, your lawyer, Mr. Bailey. I don't call a debate with Denise. It's you that I got a problem with. Mr. Simpson. It's you why I don't do network TV. Mr. Simpson. you get facts that are not true. Well, here, let, let's, let's, let's clear up one what more, Mr. Simpson. Mr. Show, Mr. Bailey. On the line, Mr. Simpson. Replay what you said earlier in the show about Gavin. Me. Mr. Simpson, Mr. Bailey says that you have, that he has come to you with this $3 million deal to do a polygraph and you turned it down. Is that true? Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, because I haven't talked to Lee since he went on the show. The first I heard of that was when Lou was on, Lee was on the show. So he, I will do a lie detector test if I can get the money. But he Other said, than that, you have to tune in on publiccrossing.com. I'm not getting paid a dime. Well, tell me what happens to the money there. It all goes to charity, right? Uh, I don't know what they're doing with the money. I don't work for the company that's doing this. Would it's you allow... Like I go, it's your money by having the need... What, what about this, Mr. Mary Simpson? Cox, Would you be willing... calling in. Is the money from this show going all to charity? Mr. Simpson, would you be willing to allow to allow that dot com well, project to happen, show, and then allow charity. and then allow for some of that money to go to your civil lawsuit, none of which has been Why? paid? For what? 
The they civil knew I lawsuit. had no money when they, when they went when they took me into a civil lawsuit. They had all of my records. I have never been in trouble with the IRS ever. They Michael, had all my records. But that wasn't they saw the what question. my money was. That was and they the made question. major points, major points about this isn't about money. Well, since the trial, all I hear is money. That's all I hear. Well, there is you a know? thirty-three million. And the only dollars. reason I've called in your show now, not to get into a base with Denise. I know how Denise feels about me. She knows how I feel about her. And she also knows how her sister felt about her. I'm calling you because you are the ones. Get, you see facts and fiction? What you said earlier in this show, sir, is all fiction. Ed Gelb will tell you the same thing. Okay, Mr. Simpson, you, you, hook, you it said on the stand during your trial that you were hooked up to the machine to demonstrate to you how it worked. Is that Yeah, because I wanted to be able to say to LAPD, uh, I would do one, which right. I did, and they didn't accept it.